everyone, Wesley here from Matherbrain.com. Again, sorry I'm by the highway so it's really loud, but I love the views here in our uh, in our city here. These are Akulis and you can see the train tracks run up there. I, I think it's really pretty. The, the river, this is the Old Man River, it's all frozen over. But I wanted to talk about an experience I had today at work. So for my work I drive a lot. I drive this beautiful minivan too. But I drive a lot and I was going to a location, to a store that I'd never been before. I had no idea where it was. So of course, I looked it up on Google Maps and I followed where Google Maps said it was. And I was in the middle of nowhere and there's no store. So I'm like, okay. So I was kind of on a gravel road and there's lots of snow out. So I turned around and I got stuck. Of course I got stuck. I'm in the middle of nowhere all by myself. And so I ended up getting out of the car and digging myself out. It only took 10 or 15 minutes. It wasn't bad. But I wanted to talk about being prepared today. That's the topic. I wanted to show you guys what I always keep in my vehicle. And yes, it's a big vehicle so I can put a lot more in this back and I took the back seat out as well. But being prepared is very important, not just with a business aspect, but a personal aspect in your relationship and in your life. And so really quickly, I just want to highlight the things that I bring to keep me prepared on the road. So I always keep, sorry about the lighting, I always keep a jacket uh, in the car and I always, I always wear enough clothing so I can walk. Like let's say I have to walk a mile or two, I have the clothing to do that. I always have a pair of gloves with me and I have one in the toolbox as well. And I have this ski mask and I love this thing. I also have um, a clothes basket, I have a hammer, I have uh, some oil and a couple things for my car. I have two toolboxes in here and I have a socket set and yes that's my sound system, it's pretty awesome. But being prepared is so important because you, you really never know what's going to happen. I didn't know I was going to get stuck. I didn't know that I would need a shovel. I have this full size, almost full size shovel that I bring around with me all the time. I didn't know I, I was going to need that because I didn't know I was going to get stuck. I wanted to do the whole video outside but it's like minus 27 or something out here in Canada. It's way too cold and I can't have gloves on while I'm, while I'm filming. So sorry if it's a little shaky, but I was so glad and so happy that I was prepared for when I got stuck. Sorry, because if I did get stuck, as I did, and wasn't prepared, no one was there to help me. I, I couldn't have gotten out. I, I even have tow straps, you know, if a truck does come or some other vehicle does come, I, I can get out. And so I want to relate that in a, in a business aspect and of course in a relationship aspect as well. Because in your business, you, you need to be prepared. You need to be ready for unforeseen circumstances and things that are going to happen people up and quit their jobs you know you might lose business contracts lots of things can happen that you don't know are gonna happen and so be prepared right and no you can't be prepared for everything but the more things you are prepared for and the more things you can look in the future and foresee the better you'll be right all in a business you don't want to spend all your cash right if if a product order comes in or or let's say have repairs or a, a, a fleet vehicle breaks down or whatever, you're going to need cash to fix those things, right? And so always be prepared. So I know this is a, a little short uh, and sweet video, but I just wanted to share that experience I had today and uh, share that with all of you. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good day.